Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oyer, emergency physician and founder of edexitvideo.com. In this patient education video, we're going to be talking about urinary tract infections. This is the anatomy of the urinary system. Urine is formed in the kidneys, collected into the renal pelvis, and travels down the ure ureter into the bladder. There it is stored and accumulated and then excreted through the urethra. Causes. There are potential causes of a UTI shown in this picture. Some of them you can see clearly, like extension of infection elsewhere, invasion from surrounding organs, stones, cancer, incomplete bladder emptying, ascending infection through the urethra. Tests that can be done. A urine dipstick is sufficient in most cases to make the diagnosis by showing leukocyte esterase and nitrates. But if the urine is very dilute, it can be falsely negative. If you have classic symptoms for a UTI, no testing is necessary. The physician can treat you empirically. UTI can progress up the urinary tract into the kidneys. This is called pyelonephritis. By then, you will have flank pain, nausea, vomiting, increasing pain, body aches, fevers, etc. A bladder infection or cystitis or a UTI usually causes a constant urge to urinate, a burning when passing urine. Urine can be cloudy, smelly, or dark. There may be pain in the lower abdomen. A bladder infection occurs when bacteria from the vaginal area enter the bladder opening, the urethra. This can occur from sexual intercourse, from wearing tight clothing, from dehydration, and other factors. Here you can see both the routes of kidney infection and the factors that predispose you to get pyelonephritis. This includes hematogenous spread or ascending infection through the ureteral reflux. You may also be given pyridium in addition to antibiotics and things like that. This is done to reduce the burning sensation. This medicine will cause your urine to become bright orange color. The orange urine may stain your clothing. You may wear a pad or panty liner to protect your clothing. Avoid sexual intercourse until the symptoms are gone. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, and spicy foods. This can irritate your bladder. It is important you return to this facility or see your doctor if all symptoms are not gone after the three days of treatment. It is possible that the bacteria causing your infection is, quote, too smart or resistant to your prescribed antibiotic and might then need to be changed. Men should have their prostate checked and get treated for enlarged prostate. Do not take herbal preparations that you may find at the health food stores. Some may cause kidney disease. Admission to the hospital is usually not necessary unless you are truly sick. High fevers, high white and vomiting with dehydration, resistant or complicated infections or comorbid conditions. You must return to the emergency department if you have any of the following. Fever of 100 degrees, no improvement by the third day um, of treatment, increasing back or abdominal pain, repeated vomiting, unable to keep the medicine down, weakness, dizziness, or fainting. If female, if you have vaginal discharge, pain, redness, or swelling of the labia, or outer vaginal area. For other videos like this video, go to www.edexitvideo.com. But remember that these are educational videos and should never replace the advice or attention of a medical professional.